Avishkar was conceived to invest in entrepreneurs who have disruptive ideas that can actually be scaled as businesses. We believe that commercial aspect of the business and the impact were integral to them. We have been investing to scale such businesses over the last decade or so. So we, we are a different concept in healthcare. We are not clinics, you know, it's completely, completely new. We have qualified MBBS doctors, nutritionists, psychologists available on the phone. What we were doing was different, was transformational. It, was, it has never been done before. And we're fundamentally uh, working on changing how a farmer buys agri inputs in India through a mobile phone. As you know that 60% of the country is still uh, defecating in the open and there's a huge requirement for toilets uh, in India. And uh, the way we see it is that it has a lot of potential in terms of scale, in terms of the huge amount of uh, social impact that it can create, as well as uh, it's a non-seasonal activity. Biomass-based power factories did not have enough fuel available to run healthily and that was the exact solution we were bringing into the forum. In the lower income and the middle class level, they are looking for a better quality of education for the children, which prompted us to start our brand Little Laureates in the district and suburbs town in the eastern in part of India. Avishkar helps convert these early stage and innovative ideas into enterprises. We call it STR, sow, tend and reap strategy. Sow them at an early stage, tend to them as they grow to the next level and reap all the early efforts by providing further capital and support when needed. Avishkar has been a very credible first investor and Avishkar is incredibly well networked in India and abroad. We've had brainstorming sessions, we've had happy conversations and then we've had tense conversations but it's all been productive. Avishkar has been instrumental in our growth. We probably wouldn't have been able to get where we are uh, in a very short period of time without their support and uh, without their vision. They've obviously been there and done that with multiple companies so it's been great working with them. first time we met uh, with the Avishkar team, especially with Vineet, I knew that this was the, the relationship that we wanted. This is the kind of partner that we wanted. He picked up the business instantly. He understood what it meant. He understood the social impact behind it. He understood the scale behind it. I think from that moment onwards, I don't think we had too much of a doubt that this was the way forward. The investment of uh, Avishkar in Mandala Apparels has brought in an energy that creates wealth and prosperity along with productiveness for the organization. Avishkar has also been extremely supportive in helping us to put systems and processes in place. At Avishkar, we constantly challenge convention. Our focus on investing in low-income states to build scalable, high-impact businesses is driven by the same belief. Where others see risk, we see opportunity. We believe in extending the boundaries of investing. Uh, we also look at trends far earlier than what others are able to predict. So this is one of the reasons why we have been able to anticipate consolidation in sectors such as financial inclusion. IntelliCash was actually a company with a business model of helping incubate and uh, capacity build startup microfinance institutions. Uh, post the Andhra crisis which happened in the sector in October 2010, we felt strongly that consolidation would be a big play in the sector. And in May 2012, when we got in touch with Arohan, we felt mutually that this would be a wonderful play in terms of consolidation. We approached investors like Avishkar Goodwell who were very excited about the proposal. And in a span of just 60 to 90 days, working together, we were able to complete the investment and the acquisition of Arohan. As early stage investors, our role is to facilitate the transition of a good business into a scalable enterprise. Only then can we expect financial and developmental returns. We work uh, very closely with our entrepreneurs on matters such as um, financial planning, implementing systems and controls, uh, ensuring good corporate governance in general, readying them 
for scaling up as they go along. Avishkar is an extremely important uh, fellow traveler for uh, with me and Milk Mantra. From our early days, Avishkar uh, has been with us and we look forward to walking this uh, journey together. Avishkar has done quite remarkable things with Milk Mantra. Look, the eastern part of the country is not known for uh, entrepreneurialism, so to say. You know, he's a first generation entrepreneur and to back something like that, I don't see a lot of it happening in, in the country, so that's, that's pretty good. I look forward to a really good, fruitful partnership going forward where it will be a commercial return-oriented agenda, but underlying it, what we're doing is going to be good for society. After working in India for a decade, we decided to actually look beyond India. Uh, we were looking for geographies that have significant amount of low-income population and have social, cultural and entrepreneurial similar context as India. We chose to go set up Avishkar Frontier Fund, which is going to operate in Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and Indonesia. Impact funds are most important in identifying the right enterprises, offering relevant goods and services for the poor. Avishkar has a history of taking bold and imaginative steps in undertaking investments in underserved areas. After having gained reasonable amount of experience of raising multiple funds and making multiple investments and exits in India, it thought of taking this practice outside India into the neighboring countries. Avishkar has already demonstrated that the space for social enterprises indeed can be successfully developed. Avishkar can play a similar role in the selected frontier markets. We find a lot of similarities in these markets when we look at our India experience. We believe the opportunities are immense given the scale and size of these markets, the challenges confronting the low-income population in these markets, the entrepreneurial culture and uh, the severe lack of early stage venture capital. Uh, that's the gap we're looking to bridge. Uh, we do see a lot of positive movements in these markets and we are very excited by this opportunity. In its space of supporting social entrepreneurs, Avishka has grown into a key partner for us. The closing of the Avishka Frontier Fund would certainly turn over a new leaf in this strategic partnership. We started Avishka with the idea of bringing about transformation. Over time, we have realized that we have to transition from impact investor to a mainstream investor in case we really believe we are making a difference.